A spring of original length 5 cm is extended to a total length of 7 cm by a force of 8 newtons. Calculate the force needed to extend it to a total length of 8 cm. Assume that the limit of proportionality of the spring has not been reached yet. Inattentive thinking about this question can lead you to a fast answer. This quick answer is using cross multiplication. So one may say that 8 newtons force will cause the spring to be 7 centimeters long. So how many newtons will cause the spring to be 8 centimeters? This is the force, and this is the total length, and this is a wrong answer. Because simply, Force is not related to the total length according to Hooke's law. Force is related to just the extension. Just the amount the length has been increased, not the total length. So remember that the original length of the spring is 5 cm. This makes our cross multiplication a little different. We will say that 8 newtons will cause an extension of 2 cm. From 5 to 7, this means extension of 2 cm. So how many newtons will cause the spring to extend by 3 cm? A total length of 8 cm means that the spring has been extended by 3 cm because the correct direct relationship is between force and extension, not the total length. This shows that the force needed to extend the spring by 3 cm and make its total length 8 cm from an original length of 5 cm, this force is 12 newtons.